cripple their military forces. I want you to infiltrate the main base and find out what the warlords are planning. Don't worry, Pox. I wiped out all the smart monkeys in the last attack. All they got left are a couple of hairy-knuckled alpha males who don't know thing one about intergalactic warfare. I mean, come on. Any planet without orbital ion cannons is just asking for it. Human warfare is astonishingly primitive, which is exactly what worries me. They're just advanced enough to blow themselves up at any moment. And if they do, our chance of reclaiming our genetic future goes up in a mushroom cloud. That would suck. Okay, I'll go scout the base and scan a few monkey brains. Try not to let them detect you this time. We don't need any more complications. And you know how jumpy these creatures can be. Hey, it's me! Good point. Try not to kill all of them! All of this, khaki that. What the hell's wrong with Fuchsia? Major Ford always randomly selects the shady South Gate. Jeez, have a heart. It's the freaking desert. The new X-13 fighter jet packs a real punch, fires missiles, has a laser on board. It even mixes cocktails at five o'clock sharp. This new human weapon could be a threat to us. Scan more humans. Chain smoking and coffee will steady Higgs's nerves before the big showdown with Armquist in the main building. Sounds like your old nemesis Armquist is coming to town. This could be an opportunity for us to remove him from the picture once and for all. Martin was under the water tower talking about preeps, prues, and neckles. What a nerd. If I were a pigeon, I could see what those snazzy suits discuss with the general. And no one on the rooftop would be the wiser. That dinner party. I have an office in the main building right next to Higgs's. If only Dottie hadn't burned Armquist's roast. The head warlord will emerge from the main building soon. I've gathered you should get a close look from a high vantage point. I hope Lorraine don't find out about me and her sister at the wedding. Boy, what a dish she was. Isn't ready yet. The X-13 was working just fine in the trials last week. There have been a few, um, hiccups. 
hiccups. Armquist is headed here right now to see this thing fly. Are you telling me it can't? We've had some setbacks. I'll give you a setback. I'm gonna bring your whole goddamn agency up on charges. This is gross incompetence. Save it. Why don't you show your guests the nuke instead? I didn't pay 40 million dollars to see another goddamn nuclear test. I paid to see the best goddamn fighter plane ever built. Ah, screw it. I'm going down to Sector 13 myself and find out what the hell's going on. General. You no need to go to Sector 13. The test flight will go ahead as planned. What? A second ago you said the X-13 wouldn't fly. I said it wasn't ready, but it will be. Your demonstration will go on as scheduled. Trust us. We're the government. Crypto? It's high time we met the base's head warmonger. Go and probe the mind of the human called General Higgs. Without these eggheads, we could never finish the X-13 prototype. Gotta keep away from all these hazards just a little while longer. Without these scientists, the prototype won't function. I've marked the locations on your radar. We must eliminate them, discreetly. Do try to avoid attracting attention. Subtlety ain't exactly oh, my sport my hero, Pox. Falling in love again. These American Frankfurters, ooh, what could go wrong? Everything, everything! This barbecue is more difficult to control than a flamethrower in a hurricane! You heard him? Fire up the Barbie! Ugh. I said char broiled, not charred. You know, they only I order it well shots, done, jackasses. Man, do I hate marching. These boots suck. I should get back to work in the West Hangar, but I wouldn't walk near those boxes filled with mines even if I'm paid. Too bad. It's his unlucky day. Now turn and walk away slowly like you can't feel the heat. Way ahead of you, Fox. Oh man, that guy stepped right on this. This ain't marks. like WW2. It was me. That's the fourth one this week. I see the new cartoons. <laughs> the more anvils, the better. An anvil? Oh, there's no accounting for taste. See if you can find something sufficiently weighty in its place. Huh? Smashing! Oh, uh, I was hoping he'd pop back up so I could drop it again. Her name is Sue. Hey, 
wonder if anybody'd notice if I went AWOL. Draw in the enemy, make some noise, and when they get close, destroy them all! Next on the agenda, stall the human warmongers. A little sabotage should do the trick. First, find the new X-13 these tin soldiers are building. More sneaking? Come on, Pox. I said sabotage! Go! And destroy every human in that hangar! And destroy their equipment and their records! And keep the X-13 in one piece. Just make sure it won't fly anywhere! That's what I'm talking about! You know, you should- <laughs> Make it good. We've had a breach. Small word for a big problem. Somebody got past the guards, snuck into Hangar 12 and wrecked the place. Our little gray visitor? Looks that way. Which means you didn't catch it. We came pretty close. Close doesn't count, Agent. The second it sets foot on base, I want it captured. And don't tell Armquist. We don't need any more help from the military. Call me when you've got it. Whatever you say. 